Vertebrates and invertebrates, terrestrial and aquatic, large and small, many animal phyla possess some measure of ability to conceal themselves. But a display of rapid and complex colour changes is a skill only few species have mastered. In particular, both chameleons and cuttlefish have fascinating adaptations which make it possible for them to change their appearance in only a matter of seconds. But how do they change colour? Since their appearance in the fossil record approximately 90 million years ago, the skin of chameleons has evolved double layers, made up of specialised cells called iridophores. Iridophores contain tiny guanine crystals, forming lattice-like structures that reflect light, enabling chameleons to actively tune these lattices and alter their photonic response. The inner layer of iridophores consists of larger, flatter nanocrystals that reflect a broader range of wavelengths, including the infrared. When either a neural or endocrine signal is received by a layer of iridophore cells, the spacing between the nanocrystals is altered, causing them to spread apart and shift from reflecting blue light to reflecting the yellow and red wavelengths. This is what produces the visible colour change from green to orange. Cuttlefish, on the other hand, as well as other cephalopods, possess a combination of sophisticated tissue structures, iridophores, chromatophores and leucophores, facilitating otherworldly physiology in these animals, expressed as coloration change. In cuttlefish, iridophores have the capability to reflect various wavelengths of light and polarities through the production of iridescent layers. This is achieved by combining platelets of reflectin with cytoplasmic layers. The chromatophores in the skin are comprised of an elasticized sac containing granules of pigment, and these are encircled by radial muscles, which are under direct neural control thereby allowing the creation of a fleeting colour change process, lasting up to a few minutes. Lastly, cuttlefish leucophores are a type of reflector cell capable of scattering full-spectrum light, assisting the cuttlefish to appear white, not unlike the shade of a polar bear. Furthermore, Leucophores are also capable of reflection of any filtered light shown on them, and because of this, they aid greatly in colour matching as they can still reflect wavelengths of light filtered by seawater at lower depths. So why do these species change colour? For chameleons, it benefits concealment from the sight of potential predators, such as snakes and birds but is also used as a form of communication in territorial and mating displays. The infrared reflecting nanocrystals also assists with thermoregulation, shown to reduce radiation absorption from sunlight exposure by up to 45%. Like the chameleon, cuttlefish alter their coloration primarily for camouflage, but not only disguise themselves from predator, but prey as well. These clever creatures also utilize their rapid color change adaption for intraspecific social signaling and complex communicatory behaviors. Physiologically, the mechanisms which allow for rapid color change in chameleons and cuttlefish vary considerably but the functions and benefits of such an adaptation hold many similarities, the most notable being the day-to-day -day dazzling display of colour change. And to quote the great Mr Spock, change is the essential process of all life. Sun rays, we see we trees. The land people sacrifice, but this is what we need. 
some gills 